Westside, here are our announcements for the week. Both noon and 7 p.m. Wednesday Bible studies return January 11th. January is Consecration Month, a time for purification and seeking God for 2023. Prayer and fasting guides are available on the church website, wbcchurch.org. Please be in prayer for Westside member Pamela Shannon and family on the loss of their loved one, Brother Henry Shannon Jr. Entrepreneurs, start the year off right by setting your goals and creating a vision board when the CEO Ministry presents Work-Life Balance Goals and Vision Board on January 14th at 9.30 a.m. In observance of MLK Day, January 16th, the church office will be closed and there will be no shop or church activities. Ladies, the Women's Ministry will host their annual kickoff celebration on Tuesday, January 17th at 7 p.m. in the Assembly Hall. Come out for a night of food, fun, fellowship, and to hear about all the new exciting events for 2023. Please register for the event by visiting the church website and click on the Women's Ministry tab. Registration will close on January 10th. See you at the kickoff. Couple Combo, Deep Conversations to Build Marriages, begins January 19th and continues every third Thursday at 7 p.m. Child care will be provided. Registration is required and open now at wbcchurch.org. The WBC Music Ministry is conducting a music ministry workshop for all choir members, January 24th through January 27th, each night at 7 p.m. The WBC Prayer and Stewardship Summit Conference will be held January 28th, beginning at 9 a.m. and will include special keynote speakers and breakout sessions. Registration is now open at wbcchurch.org. Westside. This week, we want to share another testimony of how God has worked in the life of one of our members as they imagined more. My Imagine More testimony started the summer of 2020. As an educator, we had just completed the academic year in shut down and lock in mode and George Floyd's murder was witnessed around the world. I struggled with processing the state of the world we live in and I knew I was not alone. I reached out to other black counselors within my connections to debrief all that we had been exposed to. As we were planning the 2021 school year, it was our young black students that we were most concerned about. Young black students that had many thoughts and emotions of their own about the tragedy of Mr. Floyd. Black students who protested the injustices of how black people were unfairly treated by law enforcement and systems. And black students who were preparing to go back to a school. The education system had to be mindful of these black students that were coming to their classrooms. I also knew that not only were our black students hurting, but black families were hurting as well, and I wanted to do more. We were starting the season of Imagine More in our hearts and in our minds, and my family had placed the Imagine More sign in our yard. I questioned it each time I saw it. I had often thought of attending TWU for their family studies program, but it was just a thought. Wanting to do more to support black families, I knew I needed to learn more. Therefore, seeking God for the progress, I stepped toward it. And when I contacted the department, they were very friendly and answered all of my questions. Because of the pandemic, registration fees were waived and the deadline to start in the spring of 2021 was within reach. I interviewed and was accepted into the Family Studies PhD program and the experience has been phenomenal. Spring 2023 is my last semester of coursework, as well as I will be taking my qualifying exams. I'm grateful to God for ordering my steps, as I have imagined more. For additional information regarding any of these announcements and much more, please visit us at wbcchurch.org. Thank you and have a blessed week.